And welcome back, guys. This is The Thinking Gamer with For The Wins at FTWins.com, hitting you up with another brutal campaign walkthrough. This is mission number two, The Outlaws. I'm going to be showing you guys what you need to do to go ahead and beat this mission on Brutal. And not just this mission, but I am going to actually be doing the entire Wings of Liberty campaign on Brutal. I don't know why that guy didn't go there. That was awfully weird. The first thing I want to do is get my economy rolling and get a, a supply depot down because what you'll notice is that you start off almost supply blocked. I think you start at 15 out of 19 supply. So it behooves you to go ahead and throw down that first supply depot. Take your marines up here towards the north and you're going to find some free minerals and Vespian gas laying on the ground. So go ahead and pick those up. They are going to be extremely useful uh, in getting your economy going here right off the bat. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a tech lab so that I can build some medics which will be a force multiplier on my units and allow them to actually overcome a lot of different battles. So I'm just going to continue building up my economy here, continue training SCVs, and more importantly, continue building supply depots and barracks so that I can make use of my economy here. Go ahead, keep training up those SCVs. Never have too many units building at once. If you have a ton of units building, especially military units, here, I want to cancel him. I'm going to go ahead and build a medic. But if you have too many units building at once, that is a, a strong signal that you need to go ahead and build another barracks. So if you've got an entire queue built up, well, cancel some of those guys and use that money instead to build another barracks. You want to make sure that you're not floating resources, because floating resources can be a very bad thing. As you can see, this little medic, just one medic, ends up being tremendous in this little tiny battle. Now, periodically, you are going to get attacked by these forces up here it is generally not too bad as long as you keep pumping out units you're going to be able to deal with these uh small dominion attacks on your base so let's go ahead and build another barracks i like to hotkey all of my barracks of course on control group five that is a completely personal preference however you like to control group your control groups by all means do it I just find it useful to put all my military structures on five put my command center on four and to put my general military on one and I get a lot of questions concerning how many workers you should have on the minerals over here and that is a very good question the answer to that is 24 uh, or better yet to have three uh, workers per mineral and as you notice there's generally about four speaking that's like the most common number is is eight mineral patches uh, per little expansion here so with eight you want to have about three on each which comes out to about 24 one thing you can do is you can highlight all of your workers there and you'll notice that they have they come down into this control group down here that control group when it's full will be 24 exactly so that's one quick way you can kind of just gauge how many more workers you need is just by highlighting them and then you can quickly say oh well I need six more workers to have 24 and reach maximum peak efficiency at that base so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to keep building these supply depots because I'm reaching my supply cap rather quickly. And I should be getting attacked by another Dominion force here rather shortly. So I should have enough units built now to counteract any kind of aggression they want to throw my way. And I'm pooling up a decent amount of minerals here. So let's go ahead and build another barracks. That's always a key. If you're pumping out units and you can't seem to do that without maxing out your queues then go ahead and build another barracks alright I should have enough units here let's go exploring a little bit uh, if you come up here and explore you're going to notice that there is some more minerals up here that you can grab but they are guarded so you want to make sure you have a, at least a, a moderate uh, attack force here before you decide to come up here and grab these minerals let's go ahead and grab these minerals and as you have noticed, there's a mission down here to come and rescue these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and send my forces down here and give them a hand. And I'll go ahead and send these guys as well. 
So let's keep building these forces, and I'm actually going to rally point them right here so that any future forces I build will automatically just go to that point. And when they go to that point, it is um, it is going to back me up and it's going to reinforce any units I got there, and then I don't have to worry about them just standing around my barracks out there. I have the money, so I'm just going to keep building these supply depots. Might as well. I'm not supply blocked, but at least I don't have to worry about it. So, let's go ahead and add these guys. I got all these new guys they added in here, so we'll send them down there. I'll bring one guy up here and pick up these minerals that are laying around the base. Go ahead and add that to my control group 5. Start building some units from there. And keep building units. And keep picking up these minerals as well. As you can see, I end up getting two free supplies. Well, that is awesome. And it's definitely going to help with the new units I got there. And keep building units, 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 units. That's all you have to do. Build up your supply over here till you get to maxed out production on your mineral line. And keep building units. Hot key them, or control group them, control group them to this location here. So that... They immediately run up, and when they do, all you have to do is highlight everything and hit Shift-1 and add them to your control group so that you don't have to worry about them. I managed to get an SCV over there somehow. That happens periodically. Eh, if you notice it, just send him back to your base and get him mining again. Put the proverbial whip to his little SCV butt and make him mine more minerals. So let's head up here. I have a decently sized force here. This should be sufficient. Actually, one thing I do want to do, because it is brutal, is take all my medics and put them in the back. So that they're not sitting there taking damage, and they're actually supporting my marines here. And you will find in this configuration, uh, it's a little more effective than uh, having them up in the front. Go ahead and set my control point up here, so any new units I build uh, come a little closer than back here. See all these guys are back here, so we'll go ahead and send them up as well. And we shouldn't have too much difficulty pushing through this little Dominion base. This mission is not overly difficult by any means. So you shouldn't really be dealing with all that. I'm going to go ahead and set my uh, rally point to the middle of the base here. So any new units, by the time they get here, I'll definitely be well up in there. So they're not going to have to worry about them running into danger. At least not great danger. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I should be able to push right into this base, and there's really nothing they can do about it now. I have an overwhelming force. Now, there is a siege tank up here, so I'm going to run my guys up here really quick, ignoring everything, and just try to take out that siege tank as quickly as possible, because it can be a real threat, and it can really decimate your infantry units. And as you can see, I still have units building. And I'm actually maxed out on my queues here, but uh, I'm... That's an unfortunate side effect, but it shouldn't matter right now, so I'm not too worried about maxing my queues out now because I've got their base full, and it'd be kind of silly to go back and build some more barracks now that I'm about to win this uh, this match here. So don't worry about it uh, at this point. I should be done. These buildings take a while to go down, don't they? Alright, let's get them closer so that I'm making use of all the damage. And that is how you beat mission number two, the Outlaws on Brutal. As you can see, it is not overly difficult to do, and you should really focus on your control groups and managing your base and macroing, because this is really good practice for it, and you are definitely going to need those skills later on in the campaign when these missions get exponentially more difficult as you go along. But till next time, this is The Thinking Gamer, and I hope to see you guys next time. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, and I will talk to you next time.